it's just it's nice to come back to where, where it all started and um, just seeing people that I used to go to school with and people who you know on the journey with me from the start so it's just nice to, uh, to come home and you know fit back into where you know where I grew up so it's been nice to you know have a pasty and you know, have a beer with some friends and catch up with everyone. Sunday mornings here with my brothers um, for the under eights uh, Campbell and uh, yeah it'd all be about 100 200 of us waiting to be uh, you know, get off any different uh, age groups and uh, everyone bring a ball and be drop kicking. Doesn't matter if you're a prof or, or not, everyone used to be drop kicking over the post. And the would well, be one poor kid at the back trying to kick it back to everyone. It's quite nice to get to Newcastle and you know help start something good, which you know last season we did and it's about now it's about backing it up. So I, I never look at anything in regret, you know, as you gotta you know take some take some stuff that you've done on the chin but you know that, that's life. There's no egos in the team, there's no egos in our squad, there isn't one person you would think he's the big time, so there's that and there's just a bunch of boys who just want to work hard, you know, there's a lot of people in there have not had the cleanest of rugby careers, so they're just in there to prove a point and to be fair, the, the boys there are amazing, you know, they just want to get in and work, work hard and, you know, try and win a championship. Growing up, I always wanted to play for England, but when the chance came at, an, at a young age um, to play for, play for Fiji, it was bit of a no-brainer really, I was like, I might never ever play for England, but if I've got a chance now, so early in my career to play for Fiji, I could you know, go on and establish myself in the international scene. Robin and Rob, they never once you know, held it against me or they never said that like, this is a bad idea, they, they understood there's a chance to play international rugby, so um, that was the first protocol I wanted to kind of get out of the way. And then the second was my dad, and uh, you know, he never ever pushed me to play for Fiji, he wanted to play for England. I got, got to know some players that I did think I would. Um, Juan Martin, Fernandez Lobe, um, Chris Ashton, um, you know, those sort of boys who you know you, you play against but you don't really know. So it's good to you know get to know them and you know, hang around with uh, Malachi Fakatoa all week and just seeing those guys really is just you know being in the presence of them is quite you know as good of experience as I could have asked for and it takes you back to that you know rugby on you know the pitch here where there's no. No one cares about what shot you tackle with or if your feet are in close, it's just give me the ball and let me have a go and pass to your friend if he's in a better position. You know, that was the kind of rugby it was and you know, that's, it brought back a lot of passion and love for the game. I absolutely love what I do. Um, I'm rugby through and through and um, yeah, I can't think of anything else I would be able to do. So yeah. Awesome, thank you very much.